My name is Sam Rixor, and this is me. I'm 25, living with three housemates in a rented out house. I've been like this for years now. It's starting to feel like an eternity. Stuck in the same old shoe shop, selling to the same old people. The money's good though, can't fault that. Just starting to wish that people recognised me a bit more. Family doesn't care what I do. I haven't spoken to them in over six months. Part of me wishes I could make them see. The smoking didn't help, I'll tell you that. First time Dad saw me, he almost slept it out of my hand. <laughs> Back home I had a five-year-old cocker spaniel. Charlie. And whenever I got angry or annoyed, Mum would always let me take him out. She understood. I could do with him here. He's the only one who can get me out. I don't get out that often, to be honest. Most of the time I'm either curled up in my room watching TV or drawing. I love to draw. It's something I've always had a passion for, ever since I was little. And I love to draw people. Sometimes I get my housemates to stay sitting so I can finish drawing them. Jack won't let me draw him though, and it's so goddamn annoying. I swear, one day I'll tie him down and get what I want. It just wouldn't be right otherwise. My name is Neve Hansen, and this is me. Um, right, let's think about this. Um, I'm 25, two sisters, mum, dad, of course. I'm currently saving up enough money to move out of their place. But if I'm not at home, I'm often at Jack's. Oh, yeah, Jack. Um, we've been together for about a year now. He's a nice guy. Makes me laugh. Hasn't got a clue how to kick, though. Although, that just makes me laugh even more. Sometimes he'll come home from the pub and be like, Ooh, what's that? And I'll be making lasagna or something. <laughs> I don't think anyone thought I'd be in a relationship with him. But, to be honest, that just makes us want to be together even more. You know, just to, just to prove them wrong. Even if he isn't perfect. <laughs> I took him round mum's place once for dinner. He did really well. But when I asked mum what she thought, she said she didn't like him and hated his attitude. Whatever that means. Last week, I got let go from my job at the cupcake shop. No, 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 not because of anything I did. They just said they weren't getting enough customers, so they couldn't afford to keep me on. Shame, really. I enjoyed working there, with all the colourful icings and decorations. I tried making a couple round jacks, but I could never get it just right. <laughs> Jack would usually throw away the mixture if I had any left over. Now, though, he usually finds me curled up in a blanket most days, watching Netflix.
My name is Alex Hyde, and this is me. I've been working for this accounting company now for two years. Honestly, I hate it here. But, as long as it pays the bills and gives me some cash to spend on clothes and drinks, I don't mind. I've been good friends with Neve since we were little kids, even though I'm a little older than her. In fact, I'm practically the reason Neve met Jack. You see, I'm the football fan between us. Always supported Liverpool since... Since Dad passed away. As you can see, I joined the gym recently. Not because I'm fat or anything. I... I... I just... Oh, shut up. Usually, after each session, I text Neve to see if she's free and we get a drink somewhere. But Jack's been a bit controlling. Keeping her inside constantly. I saw her one day with a black eye. Said she'd fallen down the stairs. I know it was Jack. He's done it before. I swear I'll make him pay one day. Kill him if I have to. God, I can't wait to get back from the gym. I've always got a bar of chocolate waiting for me back at my place. Because, I mean, after that workout, I mean, I feel like I deserve at least a little treat. I may be a little addicted. Whenever I have free time at home, I'm usually plugged into my headphones listening. There's something peaceful about being able to just simply plug in and be sent to a different world. Where the world moves faster or slower, in lines or waves, some romance, some horror. I... I love it. John Pittman, and this is me. Can you believe it? <laughs> Little old me. Most days you can find me in the supermarket. I like to keep things stocked up, that's all. You never really know who's going to turn up on your doorstep. One day, I had the family pop round with Nan, just to check on me, that's all. Bless her. Sorry, I get distracted easily. What am I meant to be saying? Oh, yeah, um, so I'm 28. Oldest of the guys in the house. But they seem pretty clean and all, so I don't really mind. Oh, and Nee's pretty nice as well. <laughs> if I was straight, I'd be all over her. <laughs> oh. Nan used to go to this church. Avid bingo player she was. Bless her heart. Died at the age of 92. Still, I guess that's pretty old. Don't think I'd bother holding on much longer if I was her. Oh, right, yeah. I need to be talking about myself, the <laughs> Um, let's see. Been Christian since I was little. Nan, of course, being my influence. She didn't care much that everyone else hated me for being gay. She took me along anyway. Had to take her fair share of insults, that's for sure. I swear I'm the healthiest they've ever known in the house. If it wasn't for me, I swear Jack would be eating pucker pies every day. And I don't think I've ever seen Sam use the oven. Always microwave. Oh, there I go off topic again. I've been on and off relationships for a while now. Sam was the last guy I was with. I hate him so much at the moment. He got Jack to spike my drink as a joke, to see if I'd turn straight. Next day, I woke up in Neve's bedroom, and Jack was passed out on the sofa. So I crept out. But I'm not sure if you of them know. Wait! 
don't think it would have been any more painful than an apple dropping on your head, to be honest. Quick. Effective. I guess. Poor guy. I said it was blunt force trauma to the head. Probably didn't last much longer than a minute or two once he hit the ground. Sorry. Oh, and his family. They'll probably see it as such a shame. And you know they won't let the killer get away with it. There'll probably be an investigation and everything. He just needed some time, that was all. It's all my fault. I should have been there for him. I loved him. <laughs>